26.2 miles, 42.2 kilometers. The marathon. The first mile is very fast, and my weather stampeded away, taking we estimate some 42,000 steps apiece on the way. Coming. He's not even here yet and I can just smell the professionalism. Right, let's go and meet Coach Lloyd. Good first impression. You look lovely. Good luck, was man. How are we? I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm terrified. Go easy on me. Ready to roll? Well, there's no time like the present. We have it. We've got to run a really long way. And what a day for it as well. Absolute what, screamer. What a day to go and tell. You look great. Yeah, man, I'm ready to Already roll. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to coach. So You're yeah. fast at running. Yeah and you look like it. I look like a little piglet, so my legs are gonna have to go so fast to do this. That's all right, we've got 10 weeks, we can figure that out as well. <laughs> all right, well, at least I've got the best man on the job. Do you have? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, let's freaking do this. This is gonna be a beautiful journey. Yeah, well, let's put the kettle on our chat. Okay. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I just don't know if taking 41 minutes off my last runtime is a bit unrealistic. Yes, you can take 41 minutes off in 10 weeks. You've got a lot of good things and positive things in your corner. You're young, you're very healthy, you're very active, you're fit, you've got your rugby background. Like, you've got a good starting point. If your mindset is in a good place, if you understand why you're doing what you're doing, you will be able to apply yourself far more. And that's where a lot of runners do fall at the hurdle. That makes me calm. I know for me, my resilience, my why, it's a non-negotiable. Get up, train not just for the session, because I wouldn't turn up if it was just for that. It's my outlook on life, it's the rest of my day, it's how I live, love, work. I see the bigger picture, and that's why I'm able to go against those 5 a.m. demons. I freaking choke slam the alarm clock, I get up, I overcome the tough of the workout, and I know what it does for my day. I understand that running sub three hours is not just a massive goal for you, but it's a massive goal for millions of runners, right? It's this big barrier, sub three hours, two looks great, right? In front of your PB, but over the past 10 years, I've been working with runners. The fastest runner over the marathon was sub 220, and the slowest was six plus hours. The one common thing that they all shared is that they've all got a goal. I'm gonna become the best athlete I can be, and I'm so excited, I'm here once. While I have my health, it's not a case of, oh, should I? It's, I can, I'm friggin' gonna. So the next 10 weeks, we're gonna focus on how to fuel for the marathon, pre, post, during. We're gonna focus on getting really good at running and it's gonna get spicy and tough, building the kilometers, rest, recovery, so I can turn up day after day, building the kilometers, push my body to limits I've never had before. Also, every fine margin around living, around environment, around kit are on point, and I've learned enough so that I can push my body to its max time race day. Can I guarantee you a sub three hour in marathon in 10 weeks? No, I can't. If you ask me, am I confident in you running sub three, if you trust me and trust the process, then yeah, hell yeah. It's gonna be a mental battle, but I'm here for it, and I'm excited. Let's go on a wicked journey and test it. Yeah. I love you. There's 10k clocks. Breathing good, feeling good. And good news, we'll cherish each one. I didn't poo myself, which is fantastic. Now we're gonna go lift some weights. It's not even 6.30 a.m. We've been productive, we've been moving. I feel like a friggin' get Jack Greek God slash unicorn. Marathon prep in full flow, we're moving. Breathe better, feel better. I want to get some fluids in me straight away. A bit of a pre-workout spike. That will help me flush the bowels as well. You know what they say, hydrate, stay great. I'm just preparing the mindset. I'm telling myself that I can do this. Even though I'm terrified. I'm scared! Five 
five intervals. It was a new pace for me. I've never done intervals. They're freaking horrible. Who came up with this bloody idea to run sub three in America? Good morning, yes peeps, another day sub three marathon prep. Jeepers creepers, it's not getting easier, let me tell you, but we're up, we're moving. Today's a good one. I'm going on a date, a run. I have the privilege of running with my pro run coach. It's a hard one. I've got to basically friggin sprint 15K, 18K workout in total. So I thought, what better way to have a hunky pacemaker by my side, so I'm just waiting. I came 10 minutes early because I'm eager. And if it's a first date, first impressions and everything. So I'm pretty much there. I've just walloped so much breakfast. My appetite during this marathon prep is through the roof. Anyway, where is my date? Right at the start line, we've got 3K easy run to start, and then we're gonna chomp into 15K spice. That's me. Hit, run, ready to go. So we targeted a 3K easy, just to prime the body, get yourself prepped, which is nice. Yeah, that was good, easy. I was a bit anxious, I can't lie. 15K at faster than marathon pace. We found our pace, energy was on point, brekkie's now on point, that's what he's taught me. My brekkie's good, my morning routine's good. And just thought energised is nothing better than the body feeling primed, having good energy in you. Don't get me wrong, it's not meant to be friggin' easy, but it's just crazy. Right, steady running should be a little bit faster than easy pace, uh, easy pace running. The reason Tom's steady running at the moment is just, just faster than that sub three hour marathon pace is because he's in a good spot. When we were running the first UK, I was looking down at watch and we were like, our race good. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, we're actually running just inside three hour marathon pace. And this is a steady run. So I've been taught by the best. So for me, like I've just finished that, I've been pushing bloody hard for 15K, but I'm fine. I could chomp another 100 k but I'm not kidding. I feel good. I feel really like completely fresh. And that tells me I'm blessed. I've got my health, I'm in a good place, the body's functioning. The injuries can just happen, so we're staying to script. It's your baby. We done. So honestly, that was literally 30 minutes of work. I don't really need to do it because it's not fully aligned with marathon training, but I love it. I love to get a bit of lifting in. It's like my bread and butter. So 30 minutes of lifting. Also, feeling pretty jacked. How to maintain muscle whilst running frigging miles. Oats, bagels, chomped, weights done. That is the morning. Let's do a physique check, Drew Bailey. You can check me out if you want. Yeah, all right. Keen. So current physique check-in. Kilometers being completely friggin' swallowed quicker than a unicorn eating Haribo's. And this is where I'm currently at. Weighing in at about 74. Energy's good. So that's sort of where I'm at. Fitness is good. Um, anyway, another day bagged. Ciao. So all I've done with this is classically cook a little bit of bomber rice. That's all you need. This classic paella rice, and you can tell it's so good. It doesn't stick together. Jeez, that, otherwise it, it would just blow. This rascal's doing the marathon too. Hey, Riri. Hey. Today marks the longest run of marathon training. I'm feeling plumped. We've got a 27.5K easy run. I'm actually getting used to easy runs because I feel like, okay, it's not number two. Easy. They're easy. <laughs> you forget about the number of kilometers you're running. But yeah, we've got 27K. This is Brecky. Electrolytes, pre-workout, just to buzz me. Uh, got a black coffee, what does that help with? Poo-poo-poo. Getting the bowels <laughs> flushed. Um, and then, honestly this, you would have never seen me eating this amount of carbs in my life. Like, real talk. I, am get, I did used to be a bit restricted with my eating, I've said this before, but now food is fuel, I'm loving it. I'm in the best place, physique, energy. So yeah, we've got a bowl of oats, around 80 grams of oats, loads of fruit, and some topping, and then a bagel. So, pre-run fuel, I feel good, I'm in a good place. Look at that, I'm excited. Is it good? Uh, uh, oh, that can be fun. Put a bit of oats. Oh no, that's where you go wrong. You take it too far. Oats? No, just no. On the bagel, is that a yay or no for you? No one wants a soggy bagel. That's fun for me. I'll just add some salmon on top of it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for a run in about 45 minutes after I've eaten this, do a bit of mobility, prime the body, prime the mindset. See you on the other side, sub three marathon prep. 
I've actually got friends, believe it or not. So these two legends have joined me. This is Luke with a beard, who's local to me. I actually, actually, the first time I've probably met him, he's actually lovely. He might be a murderer, but so far, so good. He's also running a sub three, and we got Henry as well. He's coming from Clapham today. Henry's my ex client who got friggin' wham and jack. 12k in. Easy pace around five minute kilometers. Turns out as well, why we're getting on so well. Breakfast, we aligned. Bagels with nut butter, which is awesome. And a banana. That was when it was like, love at first sight. Love at first bite. Rock on, friggin' run done. These two kept the company wonderfully. That is. Oh boy. I will get the statistics on screen, but that was my longest run from marathon prep so far. 27.5. Energy was good, heart rate was down. That extra bagel this morning, de la creme. I'm gonna go in an ice bath. You guys, good news for you. Can leave my company now, which is probably quite <laughs> exciting. <laughs> it's really cold, I'm not even in it yet. This is part of it though. This is the recovery part. Ice bath. Do we have to? Shut up, you! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Stop saying it's gonna be hard. Mindset, focus the mind. In a polar bear, in, this is so cold. Everything in my head right now is telling me you shouldn't do it. But if I quickly trick myself and say, you're not gonna do it, Tom. Get your hand Seconds so far. <laughs> Got a whole 50 oh, seconds to go. It's so cold, man. Keep your hands under. Yeah, yeah. Ten. <sighs> Here we go. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, one. it was really hard. It was really, really cold. Oh, oh, I want to cry. It was so cold. It was so cold. Oh, it hurt so much. Ah! Was that overreacting? No, 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 no. Overreacting. Re. Just do head. Head under. Dog. <laughs> She's not putting her head under. I can't. I can't. I can't. Tommy here. Welcome, YouTube. A huge ask. Could you do the like and subscribe thing and comment? That'd be amazing. It would really support me and it just shows me that you want to find out how how tough it's going to be for the next 10 weeks to achieve the sub three marathon goal. Your support means so much. It's going to be an amazing journey. And trust me, the going gets tough. Um, if you want to see me undressed, you better, you know, subscribe. It's going to be great. Thanks, guys.